about 35 miles north of Medora, North Dakota. Um, Medora is the home to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And the National Park actually has three units. There's a southern unit, a northern unit, and then this tiny one where I'm standing called the Elkhorn unit. I'm at the Elkhorn Ranch of Teddy Roosevelt, who's going to be the future president of the United States. Um, he escaped here to this place after the death of his wife and his, his mother who actually died about an hour apart from one another in the same house. And he, he left. He came out here in the middle of nowhere, and I do mean the middle of nowhere, here in, I guess, this was the Dakota Territory at the time. And started his life here. And he said that this is where the great romance of his life began. And it's because of this place that he was able to become president of the United States. Um, there's more trees here than I thought there would be, and I don't think there were this many trees when Theodore Roosevelt was here. Uh, they do have plaques uh, set up along the, the trail here. The trail's about, oh, maybe maybe a mile, maybe a little less than a mile from the parking area. Um, it's fenced in. Um, you can't go any farther than this, <clears throat> but not too far from where his ranch house was is the Little Missouri River, which is out there. You can just barely see it. And, uh, See the hills over here that he looked at out his porch. He actually, I think, had two uh, ranches. He had this one called the Elkhorn, and he had one about 40 miles north of here called the Maltese Cross. And um, he would ride on horseback from one to the other, and uh, he uh, became a cattleman out here. And uh, he brought two men. And the two men were William Sewell and Wilmot Dow. And they were two, uh, two friends of his from Maine. And they came out here and uh, they became partners and uh, helped him out with, with the ranch. It's a windy day. It's the middle of July and it's like 60 degrees. And it's somewhat desolate. I read that in 1886, a couple guys stole his boat out here. And <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt was a man. He's like, screw that. So he and his partners went after him and captured them, took the boat back. <laughs> and in 1887, he finished his stay here. Uh, his business kind of went under. He lost he was 60 percent of his of his stock uh, Because of a bad winter And he went home But it's because of this place that He became the man that he would become uh, to help lead this nation and to make the United States a, a world power There's a gate here Now this isn't his ranch house. In fact, the ranch house is gone. It's, <clears throat> it's not here anymore. <clears throat> but they have some stones set up here. I guess this was the blacksmith um, shop and the dugout that they all built. See the stones over here, the foundation was.
So, I am in the birthplace of conservation in America. Uh, he became a lover of the land and of conserving our natural resources in this country. And that came from here, this spot. And um, that's, uh, it, it's neat to be here. And uh, I've always wanted to come here and I, I finally got a chance to do it. It's a rough road to get here. <laughs> it's a long gravel washed out road, but I did make it. I made this pilgrimage. So I highly recommend if you're at the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, you definitely come here to the Elkhorn Ranch to be at the site where it all began for Theodore Roosevelt and his political career.